One of the biggest challenges that humanity faces is, is the production of energy. My name is Gillian Buriak. I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of Alberta, and I'm a synthetic nanoscientist. The sun is a wonderful source of energy that is accessible around the globe. And so solar panels, for instance, represent one good way of being able to convert that energy into electricity for everyday use. There are a number of barriers that uh, have prevented widespread use of solar panels around the world. And a big one is cost. We're close to the break-even point with silicon, but silicon still is, is more expensive because it actually comes from sand. And so to convert sand into silicon, it takes a lot of energy and hence a lot of cost in order to do that. You do need a contractor in order to assemble them on the roof. In fact, oftentimes roofs need reinforcement because they are so heavy. So we'd like to make very inexpensive, very flexible, very lightweight plastic solar cells. And the idea is, is that we'd start with a very lightweight, very cheap plastic substrate and we would simply spray the various layers that make up this sandwich-like solar cell structure. We've designed molecules that will allow you to take that light energy and convert it into electricity. So here's a, a small example of a plastic solar cell. As you can see, it's flexible, it's very light. Let me just put it right here. So if we can use very small amounts of energy to make these very cheap materials, and since they're so lightweight, uh, they're very cheap to transport as well. So all these factors lead to a much lower cost. These plastic sheets of solar panels could be used in so many different ways. For instance, you could generate your own power. You can unroll these solar cells on location, for instance on a rooftop or down the side of a building, or because of their rugged, lightweight, versatile nature, you'd be able to incorporate them into clothing, for instance into backpacks. Energy underpins everything that is important for a civilization. Can we come up with an energy source that is clean and that is widespread and could be used by everybody? And solar energy really is this energy source. 